What up YouTube? It is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Boy am I glad to see you all today and boy am I excited about this release. Now guys, I did not do any sneaker pickup vlog this morning, but as you know from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys. We are unboxing the Air Jordan 6 Carmine. Now this is an OG sneaker and this silhouette has not dropped in its entirety or its originality or whatever you want to call it since 30 years ago guys being that we are in the year 2021 looking back 30 years ago 1991 is when this sneaker dropped in its entirety guys and I am excited to have this in the collection I've never had this sneaker in my collection now back in the day I do have to be honest I was not a big fan of the colorway I did like the Air Jordan 6 silhouette but I wasn't a big fan of the colorway however over the years over time I've grown to love a lot of these different colorways that I didn't like back in the day as a kid you know the older you get your flavor your taste all of those different things change and that is kind of what happened with me with this particular shoe and yeah man it was just a flat out must cop for me OG had to have it in the collection glad to have it in the collection and I'm glad to bring it to you guys right here on all about the sneakers now comment below let me know if you guys went after this shoe this morning I did notice that it was pretty much of a problem for a lot of people the shoe did sell out guys online pretty sure in stores as well as some stores did do first come first serve but a lot of stores were raffled however due to the description discrepancy if you're not up on it this shoe did have some issues from the manufacturer Nike slash Jordan brand and that is a pink midsole due to the red color on the upper dying off onto the white midsole causing a pink hue now in pre-release pictures I did notice that it was pretty extreme and it was to the point that I wasn't sure if I really wanted the shoe I did plan on picking it up at least to do this review but I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it however on my pair I did take a glance at it luckily it seems to be okay but that's not the case for everyone therefore a lot of stores were given credit by Nike to send their shoes back because they did not want to put out a defective product however Nike did leave it solely up to the store's discretions and some stores did keep their pairs and those were the stores that 10 app did a first come first serve this morning so a lot of people did luck up on that however they may have some pinkish defective pairs or I don't know they may have gotten lucky and got some white midsoles comment below if you were one of those people let me know how it went for you also let me know if you guys were unsuccessful getting this shoe and how hard it may have been for you I know the raffles did lock up yesterday on the Foot Locker apps the Foot Locker chain apps if you guys know that it's Foot Locker Foot Action and Champs big issues there in the initial process of trying to see if you won or claim your pairs or anything like that but they did get it all worked out and big ups to Foot Locker for the W that is actually my double up guys yes yes a double up on this shoe is a must for me 30 years in the making had to have it but the one that I'm bringing to you guys right now big ups to finish line for that dub thank you guys I really appreciate it over there at finish line and Foot Locker now guys enough rambling about the intro if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now before we dive right into it I do have to give a big shout out and announcement to you guys that is correct guys we hit 950 subscribers that is a big milestone a big deal right here on the channel and it is all because of you all I really really appreciate your support liking subscribing sharing doing all of those different activities that you do right here on all about the sneakers it goes a long way so it's not just me guys I can't take all the credit because you guys made this possible thank you for 950 subscribers I really appreciate it we are actually a little ways past that and we are almost to our ultimate goal the road to 1k Stay tuned. I will be doing a sneaker giveaway at 1K subscribers. Make sure you're locked into the channel. Make sure you have that notification bell set. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. All of those good things because those will need to take place in order for you to enter into the sneaker giveaway. But anyways, once again, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't stress it enough. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, and as you can see here, we have our typical Air Jordan 5 box, the black lid with the cement bottom. On the top of the box, we have that red Jumpman right there smack down in the center on one side of the box we get our Jumpman logo with air underneath him on the bottom of the box we get our typical Nike and Jordan branding and on the other side of the box we get more Jumpman branding as well as our size sticker and the size sticker reads Air Jordan 6 retro the colorway is white 
Carmine Black. This is a men's US size 10, personal size for me in the Air Jordan. And the suggested retail value is 200 US dollars. Now for the simple fact that this is an OG colorway and they did throw Nike Air on this sneaker, I believe that is the reason for the increased price point as we typically see a retro at 190. These did hit the $200 mark, not too mad at it. The only issue is the defective pairs having the pink midsoles. I don't believe that the shoes should still be worth that amount. So who knows, maybe they'll hit outlets and you'll get those for a discount if you can make it to an outlet in time because I'm sure there will be a rush and a lot of people are going to get those pairs and just paint the midsole white. It's going to look maybe even better than the pairs that we got that tend to be okay. Who knows? However, let's see what we have under the lid. All right, so as you can see here, we have our typical flip up lid on the box. Let me get my receipt out of the way. And right here on the inside of the lid, you can see there is a lot number. We have that cement type of paper here. Not sure if that's the paper that typically comes with the sixes. I don't believe so. I think this is a new paper they recently started using back in 2020. Not too sure. I can't remember. I did get the DMP sixes, but I honestly can't remember. But I do think that paper was plain. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there you have it. The Air Jordan 6 Carmine Retro OG. These are very, very clean in my my opinion guys it doesn't get any better than an OG Air Jordan that is like the staple of the sneaker game so yeah man we got to pay respects to this shoe right here very very dope let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe Alright guys, so in store, I did not get a really good look at the shoe. I just mainly checked my midsoles, mainly checked my sizing and made sure everything was okay. And yeah, when I'm in the stores, I let them know, hey, I'll check it myself because I have to keep my packaging pretty good for presentation for you guys. It doesn't always happen, but they're starting to catch on. Big O's finish line, Big O's foot locker. But yeah, just glancing it over a little bit before I present it to you guys, you know, I don't want to see any crazy discrepancies or I'll have to point that out right here, which is pretty much the reason I do a review. So, but Anyways, it will be a little disappointing to notice some defects and to me, it's looking pretty clean. So let's go ahead and go over the shoe a little in depth. As you can see here, we have an icy outsole. We get a little bit more of that right here on the rear and on to the part that everybody is wondering about, the midsole. As you can see here on my pair, guys, it is pretty, pretty white. It does not look like the early pre-release images that I've seen. It looks pretty white in my opinion and I'm pretty happy about it. Now, even on the sneakers website, it did mention that there were different hues of white. So if that's what they're meaning by that, I mean, because there's no other white on the shoe except for the upper. So I'm assuming they're either talking about the tongue, the upper leather, the midsole. Maybe that's the different hues of white they're talking about. And maybe a little bit of a tint is normal. I'm not too sure. I don't have the OG OG. I don't have any releases after that. This is my first release. So comment below and let me know if you guys know if that's what Nike is referring to when they say different hues of white. But anyways, back to the shoe. I don't show that being an issue on my pair. Right here, as we can see on our outsole that wraps up around the toe, it is white as well, nothing pink. But just to get a little close up so you guys can do a little inspection yourself, let me know if you notice any pink. Now, it may show up a little bit different with the bright lighting, but looks good to me. Anyways, moving on. Also here on our midsole, we do get some black that kind of wraps around the entire side of the midsole. And on up to our upper, that red die that we get right here on these panels very clean looking and that is a new buck material just very nice and smooth nothing too crazy nothing too bad just a typical Air Jordan new buck which I'm actually fond of I like it a lot doesn't seem too hard to keep clean and it doesn't seem like it will get extremely dirty if you take care of your shoes now if you get something black on it that's a different story so make sure you try not to scuff that area other than that we get white leather on the upper going around all the accents you can see here we have our breathable holes very clean. I'll go ahead and push in on that and it is almost not even pushable at all. That is extremely stiff. Almost as if it has stay flow starch on it. You know, back in the day we used to starch our jeans. I don't know if you guys know, but yeah, I'm a 80s, 90s baby. So it is what it is. Stay flow starch. Tough on this area right here. Not going to cap. And that pretty much goes for all the leather on the upper. It is really tough. Nothing plush at all. Doesn't make or break me because the stiffer the leather I've come accustomed to, the easier 
materials to keep the shoe in pristine condition minus creasing that soft leather crease is real easy now granted if you were doing jumping jacks cartwheels all of that stuff yeah of course you're going to crease this leather as well but i feel like this is a lot more durable so i am a-okay with it now we also get a little bit of white stitching in this area here as well as we get a little bit more kind of going inside of this red area it's almost hidden so it's really tough to see but it is there and back to the midsole for just a second as you can see here we have our air system or air bubble and it does look pretty yellow inside so i can only imagine that getting a little bit yellower as the outsole starts to oxidize and turn yellow as well so yeah hanging on to these for too long you will start noticing some yellowing it pretty much happens with a lot of white sneakers but i've noticed it a lot on the air jordan 6s from back in the day that i had in high school right after high school yeah they just yellow so expect it but other than that that is pretty much all we have for the lateral side of the shoe moving along and onto the medial side of the shoe we get a very similar look as we got on the lateral side just minus a lot more black on the midsole but i will go ahead and get a little closer you guys can see the medial side of the midsole where it is white it does not look to be extremely pink or anything like that on my pair now over time that may change i'm not too sure but i am thrilled that it does not look pink i was not looking forward to that that is a major discrepancy in my eyes and i just didn't want that to happen to my pair so luckily i have a white midsole hopefully you all do as well moving along to the upper of the shoe as you can see we have that white wrapping around our outsole we get that vibrant carmine red right here on the toe very nice very clean new bug as i have already mentioned we get a white mesh tongue with breathable holes now this white is a little bit different from the leather as far as the color goes it is a little bit more vintage looking and yellowish it's hard to see in the camera you may not notice it at all but in hand it does appear to be a little off-white and sort of that vintage kind of cell color which again is what nike may be referring to when they say the different hues of white i don't know however though we do get some standard white flat laces in place and also right here on this shroud we do get some satin in that carmine red with a black stitch jump man very clean this part of the shoe actually sets it off a lot one of the things that i do like a lot about the air jordan 6 is that shroud right there as well as our lace lock right here carmine with black nike and jordan branding as you can see here we have nike on one side of the lace lock and i couldn't really twist it around so i just flipped it upside down and as you can see on the other side we have the Jumpman logo no disrespect to the Jumpman logo flipping them upside down had to do what i had to do i'm not unlacing the shoe just to show the other side of the lace lock however moving along to the upper of the tongue we have our holes here our iconic holes for grabbing the tongue and kind of pulling it up when you're putting the shoes on very dope love the air jordan 6 tongue and then we also get that old school air jordan branding right there which is still dope and still modern in my eyes it's just so iconic to see that air jordan in that text i love it also for those who may not know the air jordan 6 like that this is rubber on the upper of the tongue so it is very durable and sturdy and on to the rear of the shoe as you can see we do have our white midsole white leather going up the back with the iconic nike air on the back guys it has been 30 years since they put nike air on the air jordan 6 carmine so this is a big deal to see this on the back comment below let me know if you guys prefer the jump man or the iconic nike air which makes it look a lot more like the og in my opinion i'm gonna rock with the nike air it never gets better than that in my opinion have our own up to the top we do have our black spoiler or our pull tab whatever you want to call that with a little bit of red just kind of curving around the top of it and then we also get this little black mesh piece here on the achilles heel area of the shoe other than that that wraps it up for the rear of the shoe very nice from the rear in my opinion and on to the interior of the shoe as you all can see we do have a black sock liner we also get a black insole with white nike air branding right there on the center of it we have our size sticker inside of there somewhere and we also get a cardboard shoe tree in place and last but not least onto our outsole a very nice clean looking outsole in my opinion as we have that icy blue outsole very very clean we get some hints of white as well as our carmine red jump man right there in the center just a very dope outsole now again guys this will yellow over time so make sure you either do what it takes to keep these from yellowing or get some kind of oxidation substances whatever these guys use to do that i'm not a pro at turning these back icy so just do your research and find out what you need to do if you do plan on keeping these on ice or rocking them or whatever and you decide you want it to look a little bit more like it does now however for me i will be keeping one pair on ice and i plan to rock another so yes a double up in these again is a must hopefully my outsole stay like this forever now we know that's far-fetched but wishful thinking anyways once again guys you see it right here on all about the sneakers the air jordan 6 
Carmine, an OG iconic sneaker. Again, I'm glad to have this in my collection. Glad to present this shoe to you guys right here on All About The Sneakers. Before we wrap it up, guys, go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you're digging this shoe, what you think about it after this review. Looking at the midsole, seeing that my pair doesn't appear to be as bad as some of the other pairs may be. Uh, I know a lot got sent back, as I mentioned, so hopefully a lot of people don't end up with those defective pairs. And if you happen to, hopefully you get it at a discount and you know somebody who knows somebody who may know somebody that can paint your missiles back white and make it look pristine as it should originally but other than that that is pretty much i have so let's go ahead and wrap it up from here guys another look at the shoe right here let's go ahead and do one more quick 360 on the shoe and let's get one last look at the shoe before we put it away all right, and you just saw it, the Air Jordan 6 Carmine right here on All About The Sneakers, guys. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. Once again, I do want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers for 950 subscribers, guys. Make sure you're locked into the channel. That notification bell is set to all, so you will be notified when we do the 1K sneaker giveaway. And again, as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button. And once again, make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure it is set to all, so you will be notified when new content drops other than that guys that is all i have for you on this saturday air jordan release day og bangs man in my mike rich voice shout out to the homie mike rich however until the next episode keep keeping it all about the sneakers once again it is your boy all about the sneakers signing off until the next episode i will catch you guys later salute i'm out